Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an images video and this is for November and December because for some reason I didn't do it for November. So here we are, two months of empties and I have a lot and I have a lot of makeup and I'm really excited. Let's go through my empties for November and December and if you are curious why I am shiny, just got home from work. Let's start out with the makeup because I think that is the most exciting. For primers, I finished four. Insane, I know. One of them is the W7 Princess Potion Complexion Booster and Primer. I use this as a nighttime serum because this made me so much more greasy than this by a few hours. So this didn't, didn't work for me as a primer, so I used it as a serum and I used it up these past two months. Last month, I think. It is definitely done and I counted this as a primer in my makeup inventory so that is why it is in the makeup part and it will be in my yearly makeup empties as well. This primer is pink. It has this dropper kind of. It's really really cool and it is like the Fasali drops. Is it called that? Unicorn drops, I think they're called, but it's a really really nice product and it is a good primer. My skin just got more oily from it. So. The next one is my Revolution Star Primer Water Gel Primer with Anise Extract. This was a blue primer with a peppermint smell to it. I think it was the perfume part of this primer that my skin didn't like. I used it every other day with another primer that I have here as well, but if I used it m multiple days in a row, I broke out from it. It's a nice primer. It is hydrating and cooling because of the peppermint. My makeup did wear longer because of this, but my skin did not like it. Another primer that I will buy again and again and again, and that really works for me, it is the W7 Perfection. It does fill out my pores so it doesn't show through my foundation and so on. This one I am really really sad about. It is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Primer and Base Makeup Wear Extender. This primer is amazing. It is a dupe for my Max Factor All Day Primer and it's actually the same. Max Factor is not cruelty free but CoverGirl is. I don't know what the deal is about that because Max Factor and CoverGirl is basically the same thing. But CoverGirl is not to be found in Europe and I'm really 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 sad about it because this is one of my favorite primers. This is a creamy primer without it being moisturizing to the skin so it extends the wear of my makeup but it doesn't make me greasy or dry or anything. It's just a really really good primer and I love it and I miss it so much. So much. I finished up Three powders. The first one is my W7 Set It Up Special FX Pressed Finishing Powder. This one right here. I finished up the loose version um, prior this year that I really really liked with the foundation that I'm panning now. This powder is really really lightweight but I went through it so fast. There are 7 grams in this compact but it feels more like 2 or 3. But it is an amazing powder though. It kept me mad and it set down my foundation without it being cakey because a matte foundation can very quickly become cakey. Here in December, I think it was, I had the smallest bit left so I repressed it and now it's done. <laughs> yeah, I'm sad about it but really excited at the same time because I only have one or two powders, no three powders left now. That's exciting. Yeah, so that is a really really good one and I wouldn't buy it again because it went so fast. This one I will buy again and again and again and again. This is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. This is just amazing for setting my concealer. And yeah, I use it up as a concealer setting powder. Absolutely amazing and I miss it so much. If you pack on too much, it can give a white cast. But if you are as pale as me, it doesn't really matter because you're pale and it will only be highlighting. This is the W7 Matte Dreamer Loose Powder. I'm really excited to have this done. I did fall in love with it at the end and I didn't think it would be nice with the foundation that I'm panning, the matte one from W7. And this is also a matte powder and I felt like it was more heavy than um, this one, the Set It Up 
version of a loose powder. So I was actually really scared to use this, but I went for it really, really fast, actually. Yeah, I actually think this is one of the loose powders that I will buy again. And I'm not a loose powder girl, so that says a lot about a loose powder for me. I went through an eyebrow pencil, and this is the Darby 7 Stroke of Genius. This was in my whole collection for Japan, and I was so close at finishing it by the finale that I did for that up uh, the project and now it's done it and it is a micro brow pencil with a spoolie in the end and this is the brunette version that matched this hair color with this brown really really well and I really like this version of micro brow pencil right now I'm just enjoying my powders until I need to use up something else that is not a powder so this is on my list to buy in the future if I ever want a micro brow pencil because this is really really good. Mascara from Noble Nordic and it is the Hey Friends Mascara. It is lengthening and defining and waterproof which is so nice and Noble Nordic is a Danish brand by a Danish YouTuber, influencer I should say. It is an amazing mascara and I love it for my top and bottom lashes and it can it is buildable and it does not transfer. It is completely dry, as you may can see here. It is so dry. The applicator is very funny because there's only brush hairs on the sides, but if you turn it around, it has none. It's really, really good mascara, and I have a new one in my stash. I don't have it open right now, but I have it, and I will always have it until she does not sell it anymore because it's that good. The only lipstick that I have, well, only... I don't finish up lip products that often, but I do have a lipstick and it is from Maybelline. It is the Tensilizing Taupe color from the Color Sensational line. And it is looking like this and it is ooh, throwing everything around. It is this beautiful nude color. I absolutely love this lipstick, but I am not going to buy it again because it's not cruelty free. It is a beautiful lipstick formula and color wise and... Yeah, I really, really enjoyed this lipstick so much and my best friend has one as well because I bought one for her just around when I bought this for myself. I have two eyeliners and one of them is my NYX Vivid Brights Vivid Violet color. This is the one. I have had it in two projects this year, my whole collection project pen and then that my This Is Me project pen that I am still doing. I don't get a lot on my brush and it is totally crumbling. Yeah, it does not transfer anymore, so I call it done. Another eyeliner, it is the P2 Impressive Bolivia, I think. It is a burgundy purple eyeliner and I can't sharpen it anymore and it is dry, so I am calling it done. I'm really excited about this. I have tried to pan it for like two years now and it is finally done and no more of those kind of pencils in my life. I have my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. This is done and dry and I can't sharpen it anymore. I'm really excited about this being empty because I worked on this the whole year. For the whole year. It, it was in my 19 and 19. And I just finished it here in December. It has been breaking on me every time I tried to sharpen it. So I think it was on the last leg this year. And I'm really excited to call it done. And one less cream shadow in my collection. <laughs> I am going to declutter this. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Permanent Taupe. I had this in my Roulette Pan Collab. And I used it as an eyebrow shade. It is pulling away from the edges and it has been doing that for so long and I'm so sad that I didn't start on working on it before that because now it's just too dry and crumbly and it doesn't perform that well anymore. I did love it as an eyebrow color and if you can still get it and you want a cream product for your brows that is cool toned and kind of taupey, it is a really really nice product and creamy and you don't need a lot. So it takes forever but... I'm not going to buy it again because it's not cool to free and it's dried up, so yeah. <laughs> I have a setting spray. It is from Women London Insta Fix and Go 2 in 1 Primer and Setting Spray. I was really doubting myself if I could finish this by the end of the year. I, I did, so I'm really, really excited about that. I was up to here when I did my finale in the beginning of December and I finished it. I'm really, really proud of myself. 
There's fireworks if you can hear some bangs in the background. <laughs> Sorry. But the spray is not... Okay, it's not done. It's very pointy and direct. So, the spray is not the best, but I liked it and I will not buy it again. I have a nail oil treatment. There is a nail treatment, complete care 7 in 1. This did nothing for my nails at all, but I did use it up. I thought it did something, but it didn't. So, this is a very, very bad nail oil for your nails. Don't buy it. Oh, I have a lip balm. It is the Yves Rosé from Boys. Um, I don't know what it's called. Why can't I? I'm sorry, I don't remember the name of the berry. But this lip balm is okay. It's not amazing because it wasn't really moisturizing. It is a red tinted lip balm. Not very strong tint, but I did use it every single morning and night. It's done. Well, not buy it again though. Not cold free, but it's not very good. A BH Cosmetics makeup sponge. This is amazing. I already have a new one. I will buy it again, totally. It is amazing. Really, really good. And bouncy and everything that it is supposed to be like. I have a shampoo and conditioner from Frank Povo. It is the Expert Color Professional Shampoo and Conditioner Protection and Shine. And yeah, colored and highlighted hair. Of course, I have colored hair. So I have used this all year, almost, I think. There are 750 milliliters in these bottles, so they are huge. But I will not buy them again because I think I can find something that is better. And I don't know if they're cruelty free, but I can for sure find something else for these. They're dusty and they are dirty. And I'm really excited to have these out of my shower now because they are massive and fills it up. Something else for my hair, it is the Batiste Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo for Divine Dark Hair, very dark hair. I love this product, I've talked about it so much on my channel and people keep saying it's not cruelty free, but it says not tested on animals and vegan on the bottle, so I don't know what to think. I love this dry shampoo so much and I will forever buy it until I for sure know it's not cruelty free. I do know Logical Harmony doesn't think it's cruelty free, but why does it say on the bottle they are? Yeah, it is a British brand, so I don't know. I don't know, but I love that dry shampoo to bits. It is the best that I have ever tried and I have tried a lot. I have the, the Body Shop, the Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. This is amazing for your cleansing your skin or taking off your makeup or both. It is absolutely amazing and I will for sure buy it again. I have a new one that I got for my birthday going and I'm just really excited to have it back up. And I will buy this again when I run out of the other one. It doesn't go by very fast. I use this up in like three months and I use this every time I... I remove my makeup except for the 20 times that I used these wipes that I'm going to talk about in a minute So this is really really nice and if you want a cleansing oil that is cruelty free and everything This is amazing and it does the job. It melts it right off So quick and easy. Money's worth definitely. The makeup wipes that I have used up the past two months is the Meraki Aloe Vera makeup wipes These ones these are really nice. I don't like wipes, but they are really nice. They are soft and gentle on the skin and takes off your makeup and does everything they are supposed to do. But I would not buy them again because I don't like wipes. <laughs> and I have I have my face halos, so I think those are better than wipes and more sustainable as well. I have some cotton rounds from Blood. I don't know. Danny's, I think. But I'm not going to buy any more... Uh, cotton rounds than I already have because I for my birthday I got some reusable cotton rounds um, So I'm really really excited about not buying these plastic and not reusable cotton rounds anymore <laughs> in the future. I used up a uh, Micellar cleansing water. It is from Neil Shaw, a Danish brand. This is really really good But I think it is too expensive for what it is. It is just a micellar water to 
remove the remaining makeup bits on my face after I have used the cleansing oil. So I don't think this is money's worth, but it's nice. So if you want some cruelty free option in Denmark and you don't want to buy from Matas or anything else, this is really really nice, but I would not buy it again. I got it as a gift last Christmas, I think. Used up a toothpaste, Syndium, not cruelty free and I will not buy it again because I have found a cruelty free option and I'm really really excited about that. That is the forever living toothpaste. I just used it because it is what doesn't give me blisters in my mouth. A small sample, deluxe size sample of the Palmolive Naturals Ultra Moisturizing Shower Milk. I did like this. I didn't like the scent though. And it's not cruelty free so I'm not going to buy it anytime soon. This is the nighttime, yeah, night cream. And this is the Honey Sleepy Mask. The night cream I love to bits and my boyfriend did too. He helped me because I have get, gotten him into the habit to use some skincare. This is amazing. Totally recommend this one. So this is lightweight and it is sinking into the skin really fast. And I just really, really love this hot night cream because your skin feels hydrated when you wake up. Even though it's so light and... You, it's empty. Well, I love it and I will buy this again for sure. It's very cheap actually. This one is very cheap and really, really, really good. I already have a backup of this. The only reason I don't have a backup of this is that I have so many lotions in my stash. This one though, I don't own a lot of masks. Now I do after the Body Shop Advent Calendar, but this is a really, 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 really good mask and I do use the one that I have from him. It is the Honey Sleepy Mask as I said and it is just a really really good one. I am so... my skin is so plump and moisturized in the morning after I have used this. I sleep with it. This is a sleepy mask. Sleeping mask. It's just really really good and it is so nice smelling. So I'm really excited to have used up a mask before it went bad on me. A sleeping mask is something I want I rather want to use than a moisturizing mask just because you can sleep with this lazy person's best friend. Let me finish up this video now because it is so long and my legs are sleeping. I'm... it hurts. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe down below if you want to see more. Check out my other videos on my channel. I have a lot of pretty pan finales and intros to come and this empty series that I am doing, I do them every other every month. The past two months have been so crazy busy for me so that is why I have combined them. I kind of regret that now but I hope you guys enjoy it anyway and look forward to my makeup empties for 2019. I'm really excited about it to see how much I finished. With this month of makeup empties I think I have a really nice bag. It is the one that is standing right there in all of my videos. I hope you guys enjoy it and until my next video please take care. Bye! Thank you.